Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to tell you guys about Saint Candles, Cauliflower Thins, and a Salt Rock Medley. All right, so first we're going to talk about the candles that I made for Michael. You guys are gonna love these, okay? This is Saint Warren. He can light this every night by his bed and think of me. Then we have St. Pixie because we wanted to keep it very cute and fun for him. I think this is such a cute gift for someone that has a pet or someone that's lost a pet. My friend Erica recently lost her dog Bitsy and I got her a Bitsy, St. Bitsy candle and she lights it every single night. I think it's a really special gift. You could even get this for like a baby shower. Um, anyway, so we also have St. Boone. We need St. Boone, right? In yellow. How fitting is that? You can hear his toenails in the background too. And then lastly, of course, just to appeal to Michael's ego, we got St. Michael. So he has these four candles by his bed. He loves them. I cannot believe how much he liked them when I gave them to him. And I think, this, like I said, this is such a unique gift for someone on Christmas or Thanksgiving um, or Valentine's Day, get funny with it. It's a hysterical little sort of gag gift, but something that you can still use. You know what I mean? Number two, something everyone needs in their fridge. I bought so many, I might've bought them all, is cauliflower sandwich thins. The options with these things are amazing. First of all, they taste just like bread. You can't go wrong. Two carbs, one gram of fiber, and if you minus that, that's one carb, guys. There's one gram of sugar and four grams of protein, okay? I don't count calories, but if you do count calories, there's 50 grams of patty. Now, you could make a hamburger out of this. You could make a hot dog. You could make an egg sandwich. You could make a pizza. The other night, I even put vanilla Greek yogurt on top of it and sprinkled berries on top and mashed the berries up with lemon. It was delicious. You could put chocolate on top of this. You could make a fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich, turkey sandwich, any kind of sandwich, BLT. These are good. Michael likes them, I like them with one carb. I mean, hello. I did three pizzas. I did Rao's Arbiata sauce, a little mozzarella, a sprinkle of feta cheese, and then I did um, chili flake on top with lemon, and it was so good. So I'll leave the link below for these. You better buy them fast though, because I'm like gonna buy them out. You should also know they're made with fresh cauliflower, cage-free eggs, and Parmesan cheese. Those are the only ingredients. They're gluten-free, nut-free, paleo-friendly, keto-friendly, non-GMO. The last and final thing that everyone needs is the Salt Rock Nightlight. So I went to Switzerland this year and London, and while I was there, I started to feel depressed. Now, this is really weird for me because normally I experience anxiety, but not depression a lot. And I started to notice that it was from the weather. It gets really dark early in London and in Switzerland. So I went to the spa, and in the spa, they had a huge, giant salt rock lamp. The second, my eyes hit that salt rock lamp, I felt better. I couldn't believe it. I Googled it, I researched it, I found out that when your eyes hit a salt rock lamp, it does something to your retinas that, that makes you feel better. Um, so I went out and I bought my own salt rock nightlight, two actually, one for Michael's bathroom, one for mine, and then a salt rock lamp for our room. I've since found out that you should always put your salt rock nightlight or lamp on at night because it's that orange tone that makes you wind down. So blue light is something you should not wind down to. So I always switch my phone to nighttime mode and I like all orange hues in the room. I know that sounds crazy guys, but it actually signals your brain that it's time to wind down. One of my favorite ways to use this though, and I honestly don't think I will ever not be without it, is I put it in my bathroom, I turn it on, and in my shower, there's eucalyptus leaves that I got at the farmer's market and I, I've hung them, and I'll link the post below on this, it takes five seconds, on my shower head. So before I get in the shower, I put on Tibetan bong music and I turn my nightlight on, I get in the shower and there's eucalyptus leaves cascading underneath the water. It is like you're on a different planet. It's a total spa experience and it's the perfect way to wind down little CBD, you get in bed, you got your salt rock nightlight on, 
It's heaven. I'm telling you, once you guys start trying these, you're going to notice that the minerals and the salt make you feel better, especially if you're in a place that gets dark earlier. I feel like, Ariel, you're going to buy one of these right away. No, I am. Yeah. I actually was just thinking, is it on the skinny was like? It's on the skinny was like. Okay. I'm telling you guys, this is something that I will put my stamp of approval on over and over again. The dogs like it. My husband likes it. Everyone is obsessed with this, and I'm telling you, it's the most romantic, pretty shower, um, and it's self-care. You know what I mean? I will also link a post below that tells you all about the benefits in depth on salt rock lamps because I did a whole post on the blog. With that, those are three random things that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I would love to know what you're obsessed with. Maybe we should do like a TSC reader favorite for the next video and pick your three things. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and of course expect videos every single Wednesday and I will see you next week. Don't forget to add your favorite product that you're absolutely obsessed with below because I'm gonna pick three of you and I'm gonna feature it, okay?